Hello, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining us today uh, for our Creating Mobile Applications in Minutes uh, with Tracer Plus Desktop. My name is uh, Howie Heckman. I'll be kind of walking you through a high-level overview of Tracer Plus Desktop, our solution center, and kind of how the pieces uh, fit together uh, with, with regards to our Tracer Plus software. Um, and I guess uh, I'll jump right into it. On our TracerPlus.com site, uh, we have a, a downloads link up at the top. This is where you can download all of our software, which is available in trial mode. So everything I touch on today you can uh, install on your local PC using the links on tracerplus.com okay and then the uh, solution center which is where we kind of it's kind of a, a growing library of pre-configured mobile applications uh, you can go to the solution center to find the different applications that we have set up so we have them built into different categories uh, for like for example asset tracking event management and so on and you can kind of go to the website here and browse the different applications that we already have configured Okay, and uh, I'd also just like to mention that if you visit our, our knowledge base on the website, for those of you that don't have a Windows-powered mobile device, we do have a, a, a very detailed article, and actually I believe there's a video available to uh, get up and running with a Microsoft Windows um, emulator. So you can kind of uh, run the mobile device on your PC, deploy everything that we talk about today to that emulator, and uh, the video on our website does go through uh, the, the installation and configuration of that. So if anybody without a mobile device available, they can kind of uh, use the application and, and test and get up and running that way. Um, okay, so with that said, I'm going to jump over to our Tracer Plus desktop application. And when the application first loads, you're going to see uh, kind of the home screen of Tracer Plus Desktop, where it just gives you some uh, information about the recent projects that you've worked on, uh, as well as down on the bottom, uh, community uh, and web links that will bring you to our website where you can learn more about the application, get more information on the syncing tools, and uh, get some help as you need it if, uh, if, if you run into any stumbling blocks as you're, as you're walk, working through your mobile uh, development. Okay, but uh, for today's demonstration, I'm actually going to show you how you can download some pre-configured applications that we have on our website. And to do that, after uh, you install Tracer Plus Desktop, you can open up the application and on top here you'll see this button for search online samples. And when you click this, what it's really doing is going out to our website, just as you saw on the, on the uh, TracerPlus.com page and loading the different categories that we have pre-configured from our website. So you can kind of search in this, uh, in this little import dialog and search different applications that we already have set up. Uh, again, you can go by category, so we have an asset tracking section. And you can kind of just browse the applications that we have loaded on the website. Uh, this is something that we're trying to uh, build new applications all the time and uh, kind of just a, a growing uh, database of applications where people can really quickly download something that, that uh, maybe is pretty close to what they need for their mobile devices or maybe just needs a slight modification where they can make those changes and then push them down to the mobile device uh, ready for testing. So you can kind of uh, go through this uh, library here if you actually look at some of the uh, some of the applications it'll show you a screenshot of what the mobile forms will look like as well as a, a brief description as to what the the application does but once you actually look around here and find something that suits what you're what uh, you're trying to deploy uh, you can just finish up with the import process and it'll actually open it up in tracer plus desktop so i'm going to go ahead and uh, actually download and install one of these i'm going to go into the uh, route accounting section here and I'm going to, I think I'm going to download this internal package tracking. And I'm going to ch make a couple changes to this application to show you how you can modify it and then push it down to a connected mobile device uh, to, to begin uh, scanning packages and collecting signatures. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click Select here. This will, again, show me the uh, screenshot of what it looks like. This one isn't as pretty as the, as the, uh, the last one I looked at. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and make some changes to it. So you can see the screenshot here. If this is the one you'd like, just... Uh, finish this import process by hitting next and then the import button. Okay, so that'll actually download it from the website. When you're done, just hit finish and it'll open up the application that you had just uh, selected within the Tracer Plus desktop environment. So you can see here it closed the previous windows I had open and opened up the internal package tracking project. Okay, and on the left hand side there's the project explorer. This is the area where it'll show you all of the different 
uh, forms or what we call sessions that are built into the project. And in this case, there's actually three. There's a receive packages form. So this is where you're actually scanning packages that you that you receive, maybe say at a at, um, uh, a company headquarters or something. And then there's a deliver packages uh, session where you can actually then go out after you've received them and deliver them to the internal location where the packages are supposed to be delivered, as well as collect a signature at that point for proof of delivery. Okay, the last uh, session here is the package list. This one's, uh, in this case, it's really used as just a, a supporting um, uh, list of all the packages that have been received so that it's it's kind of the growing database table of uh, packages that that are received and then signed for so this would be kind of the result of, of our our two forms that we're using for scanning the packages in and then delivering them okay but depending on the project you open you'll see the different uh, forms that are included in the project in the pro uh, project Explorer on the left hand side and if you want to actually open those project or this forms up and modify them, just select them from the tree here. Once you do that, it'll actually open them up in new tabs within Tracer Plus Desktop, ready for you to make some changes. So if I were to actually go to one of these forms, like this receive package form here, or session we call it, and jump over to the form designer, you'll see that the form here looks pretty similar to what we looked at on the uh, the import process when we were trying to to view what we wanted to download uh, for our mobile application so the form designer is really where the layout of what the form looks like and this is where you could actually compare the screenshots of what was on the website to what was downloaded and opened in tracer plus desktop okay so that's the receive packages uh, the deliver packages uh, is pretty similar to that in that it displays the uh, package information, the tracking number, and as well as a signature field for collecting the signatures. But this, this area here is kind of where you'd go ahead and configure the, the additional changes that you'd like to make to your project. So you would select the form that you want to modify and then go ahead and change some of the attributes of that form. So I'm going to actually start by uh, selecting the receive package form because this is the first one we're going to be using out in the field. This is where uh, FedEx or, or one of the uh, carriers drops off the packages. You scan all those packages in and then later on you're going to go ahead and deliver them using the deliver package form. So I'm actually actually going to uh, select this receive package uh, form here and I'm going to go ahead and make some changes just to kind of customize it to what we were looking for and make it kind of a, a personalized uh, package receiving application. Okay, so you can see I, I can uh, drag and drop some of the items on the form here. I'm just going to go ahead and maybe uh, add a company logo, change some colors and so on. But you can see you can change how it looks. So anything we downloaded from the website uh, through the Solution Center, we can now go ahead and change in the application here. So I'm actually going to take um, and maybe add our company logo to the application. So if I just select an image from the toolbar and then select the image here, over on the right hand side I can change some of the properties of whatever I have selected on the form so in this case it's an image so I'm going to change the the image that's been uh, displayed and I did download uh, something for a for our package tracking the Speedy Joe's form or icon so if you uh, select an image here it'll be displayed on your form designer you can then go ahead and resize it make it fit to where you want to go um, and maybe now we want to go ahead and customize the form a little bit more so we're going to go ahead uh, change maybe some of the colors of the form we'll do it uh, blue here okay but you can see you can really just kind of modify what the the form looks like maybe add a, la a label to the form let's change the font color okay and we'll call it Speedy Joe's just to match the logo okay but you're really just going through kind of customizing this to what you need uh, and changing what you had downloaded from the website so let me uh, make that a little bit bigger here okay so you can see I uh, customized this to our, our new company Speedy Joe's package tracking uh, we, we, we're going to keep, in this case, some of the fields that we already have on the form. So you can see we have a carrier field, the deliver to, and so on. Uh, but you, if you wanted to change and add additional fields to your package tracking application, you can do that in the field settings area here. So the uh, form designer is where you're actually designing what the form looks like and the layout of the form, the colors, and so on. The field settings are where you're actually adding the different fields of information that you want to collect on the form. So you can see here in the field settings, we have the tracking number. We 
have the carrier delivered to and so on. Those are all the fields that are then displayed on the form after we design what the form looks like. So if you wanted to add something new to the, uh, to the form, maybe you wanted to add a condition drop down just to make sure that or maybe mark it if it did have any damage or anything like that. You could add a new field in the field settings and then go ahead and add that to your form here and then deploy that to the to the device. Okay, so all of the all of the attributes of something that you want to collect are going to be in the field settings and then the look and feel of the form is done within the form designer. So I'm actually going to go ahead now and uh, deploy this application to a connected device. Okay, so here I have Tracer Plus pre-installed on this, uh, this mobile device and I'm sharing the screen. It's connected in a cradle here. And you can see uh, it, in this case here, it was just installed with the default Tracer Plus settings. So after you install Tracer Plus on the client, you're gonna see that it only has one default session, session one. And uh, you, can't, you could go ahead and actually collect data using the default state here, but it's, it's not very um, uh, suited for what we need. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is actually push our configuration down from Tracer Plus desktop to this connected device here that's connected through the cradle on our PC. So I'm going to jump over to uh, Tracer Plus Desktop and down on the left hand so lower left hand corner here there's a build deploy button but I'm going to go ahead and click this button it'll actually show that we have a connected uh, client that's this uh, mobile device here as well as which version we're running and whether or not it's registered okay and then all you really have to do to go ahead and push this this form that we just designed down to the device is hit the deploy button. Okay, so it'll uh, close Tracer Plus automatically on the device. It goes through the deployment process here and then reopens Tracer Plus when you're done. Okay, so now uh, just a second ago you saw that I only had one form. I had session 01, but after we did the deployment from our project, our internal package tracking pro uh, project, it actually pushed down the three forms that were in the, in the uh, open application here. You can see the receive package to packages, deliver, and the package list. Okay, if I open the deliver packages, you'll see it's a, similar to the default state that we had downloaded from the website. Uh, so it's not that pretty. It's um, just a few simple colors here, a couple simple fields. But if I go over to the receive packages application or form, you can see now it matches what we uh, had included or designed in the Tracer Plus desktop uh, form designer. Okay, so with a few simple uh, changes, we've actually customized this uh, pre-configured application to be uh, more customized to our company here, Speedy Joe's. Um, so now it's kind of it's kind of a locked down, uh, uh, something that you may see only in high-end uh, custom-developed applications, and now you can kind of quickly de develop that and push it down to the mobile device.